Hey, how's everyone going today? All right, as you can see, I got this streaming rig going pretty good. I mean, it's not literally streaming yet, but I'm starting to get everything set up. But that ain't why I'm here. Um, I've had a couple of these uh, Cooler Master MM711 mice, and I'm going to do a little short review on it. I'm just testing some stuff out, so I just see how it comes out. So here we are, trying not to drop anything here. I've had these things sitting on my shelf now for, for about a month. So what we have, it's a Cooler Master product, of course, with its Typical Cooler Master box. This honeycomb thing kind of had me curious. I don't know if it's a good thing, bad thing, a cool thing, whatever. Well, I imagine it'll keep it cooler, but I don't know about dust and stuff. But anyways, this is a gaming mouse. It's um, got ARGB. It works with Windows 7, 8.1, 10, 10 Pro, and 11. It has a pretty impressive, um, pretty, in, pretty impressive, pretty, pretty impressive specs. I have to say. Well, actually, let's open her up. Take a peek. Okay. I like so far what I am seeing. Let me move this keyboard out of the way a little bit more. Oh, it comes with some little extra skid pads on there in case these wear out. Or maybe, you know, no, they are the same thing, so they must be extra. That's nice, nice. That's a nice little thing to have. They start getting cruddy and worn down or whatever. Cool. Okay, we have a a probably nylon braided type. Well, it's even purple, so I imagine it's. I didn't really even give any directions with this thing other than um, it's ambidextrous, if they say that right, ambidextrous. Um, it's got style, it's RGB. It's a lightweight honeycomb shell, ultra wave cable, high grade quality, 6,000 K DB, DPI. If anybody can move into that fat, Superman, that's about the only person that can ever keep up with that. Um, yeah, and it has, um, basically it says it has some PTFE material for smooth control and consistent glide, which is the same as this underneath. So, what do I think? Wow, it's light. Got a button here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So it's basically a five button. I mean, it's it's really light. It doesn't feel cheaply made. The plastic's thick. Throw a little bit of light on it. Let's plug it in. Yeah, I don't know how two mice are gonna work at the same time. Okay, so I probably have to download the Cooler Master. Um, actually it does work okay so I guess by pressing this it speeds up yeah it does oh wow very responsive kind of small 
it seems to be probably for somebody that's more I like a higher mouse like the razor because I like to use a claw grip a lot of people maybe with smaller I got probably a medium size hand I don't like to lay the palm flat Boy, this thing is really fast I got to figure out how you reverse it and slow it down is it this way I don't know yeah I think that might do it so it goes for I guess around I don't know my my distributor sent it to me so I'm not quite sure exactly I know what I paid for it, but I imagine it probably goes for around forty dollars actually we can look it up right now I can give you a price on it so we're gonna head on head on over to new egg new egg new egg shuffle you believe I have won the shuffle 11 times 11 times that is sick the last well actually more than 11 times um one time that I won I didn't even take it because the product they had on there was so outrageous it, it, it couldn't have been it couldn't have been something that came from um, a distributor but look the, the, the price on it it seemed almost more like something that would come from from um, one of the scalpers they got selling stuff on there yes they do they have scalpers on their selling stuff I typed in cooler master moose <laughs> mouse. okay here it is all right is this the 710 711 7-Eleven. Okay. Yeah, you're looking at about $45 for this product. They do make a, a model 710 for it. Um, it. I don't know what the difference is. They look identical. 53 grams. So yeah, you can tell it's it's pretty light at 53 grams. Um, it's 16,000 DPI again optical sensor hmm well anyways my only concern with this is I think you would really I don't know people the skin on your hands could get in there maybe dust might get in there that would be my only concern with this but as far as it how it feels it, it has a good feel to it it's definitely not cheaply made you can't crush it um, the honey cone on it is absolutely gonna and it actually gives it kind of a grip the mouse button works good those the wheel button yeah the side buttons are easily assigned well, anyways, I just wanted to pop in and give a little quick once over on this so I can throw it in my editor and uh, there's a few things I'm trying with some different MPEG formats and, and stuff like that, trying to get the easiest, the best quality that I can with sound and, and, um, and video for my streams. So I figured, what the heck, I, 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 I might as well just do a little tiny review and somebody might be interested in the mouse out there. Huh. Okay, so here it is, the Cooler Master, Master Mouse, MM711, 16,000 DPI, probably, if you want to count the wheel button, it's five, six buttons. 
what does it say here exactly? Guess what? You get 20 million pa presses. You know, I'm, I'll start counting now. I'll let you know when I get there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically, it's a five button mouse, so. All right, listen. It was good talking with you all again. I hope this video comes out as clear as, as I've been hoping it will. Um, I think things are starting to improve on that end as far as finding a good spot for um, getting this machine over here ready to start streaming. And I do hope my daughter, here we are again. Let's take a little peek around the room. This is kind of what, it's a little messy right now. But I'm kind of looking forward to my daughter getting over here and starting her stream going. Yeah, I've got mics all over the place, cameras all over the place, lights all over the place. Some of my state-of-the-art video cards. These things, I can run 4K, 120 20 hertz all day long. Okay. Um, actually, these are old cards that I used to use way back. Well, my, my buddy gave me these, but I had the same cards. I don't know what I did with them. AMD one over there. So this is my little my little corner of the world. Um, again, you can always tell a, a Marvel fanatic, yeah. So that's the thing, is I'm still watching videos. Yes, I'm watching videos on how to get this, this um, stream going with a dual setup and everybody seems to have their own little way of hooking things up if anyone out there streams and has a dual setup and uses this EVGA XR1 please contact me walk me through help me out getting this thing all hooked up and I promise you I will really take care of you on the other end I mean no good deed goes unpaid I wouldn't expect it to. So, all right, everyone. You have a nice day. Take care.